Hi, I'm Helen, and in this video, we're going to be exploring the element of wind. Now for our messy, taste-safe option, we're going to be cloud painting. And for that, you're gonna need a large tray or plate, something you can wipe down, some towels to set down underneath, some bowls, some spoons, and for the really fun bit, you can get some squirty cream, make sure it's non-dairy if you need it, and some food coloring. I'm going to be using blue, pink, green, and orange. To get started, what you need to do is lay out your bowls. Oh, you're also meant to put your towel down under your tray, so hopefully you've already done that. <laughs> lay out your bowls and squirt some cream into each of them. Okay, we want to be going for roughly equal amounts, but be nice and generous. Okay, and let's leave one of them white. Now, if you're exploring with someone who loves realism, you might want to just focus on the shades blue and black and explore how you can make it look really, really realistic. If you're exploring with someone who enjoys color, you can go big and bold. Okay, so what you'll need to do is take your food coloring and pop a few drops into each. Okay, now you've got to stir each of them nice and gently. Okay, we want to keep it nice and airy. Don't want it to go runny. Okay, and once you're all mixed in, you're ready to paint. So I'm going to clear this tray. And I'm going to make a nice blue sky up here. Be nice and generous, because you can always make up a little more. Okay. I'm going to put some floaty clouds on top. Okay, and I think... Mine, I might be approaching sunset, so I'm going to put that down here with some pink and some orange. <laughs> and now the glow of the sunset. I want that to really glow, so I'm going to add a little bit more orange food colouring. Swirl that in a bit, nice and generous. Okay, so I'm going to put some green in here as well. Um, and I might even make it into some, some trails, some, some planes flying through the sky. There we go. I really swirl them in. Okay, and if you thought that was fun, now's the really, really fun bit because you're going to get your hands nice and messy and play around exploring the different textures and seeing what shapes you can create. So you could put some birds in your sky. You can do some nice squiggles. You could even write your name. It's gonna be upside down for you. And yeah, do whatever you like. Um, don't forget to head over to our website and check out our Sensory Sounds Wind video. You'll get a lovely original soundtrack to help make your experience even more theatrical. 
And if you'd like, you can also become one of our sensory explorers. You'll get some step-by-step -step guides, you'll get some top tips, and you'll get even more activities. Okay, enjoy. See you soon.